to trials to triumph, for we embrace hope even in trials, changing lives one struggle at a time. Later this week, our country will celebrate. We will celebrate our independence, our freedom, in the 4th of July. I want us to focus for just a few minutes on what freedom is really all about, what the cost of freedom is, and how we can make the most out of the freedom that we already have. I want to read for you Wikipedia's definition of what freedom is. Freedom is the power to act, speak, or think as one wants, without restraint, one having liberty or deliverance. Some of those words are quite big, having liberty or deliverance. Most of us are more familiar with the being able to speak or act as we want without being restrained. Interestingly, though, the internet has descriptions of many other types of freedom. Maybe you've heard of freedom of the press, freedom in art or sculpting, freedom in music, freedom in books. Perhaps your favorite sports team has the name freedom in it. And have you heard of the animation with freedom? That was new to me. In all reality, though, all of these types of freedom have one thing in common. They are liberated, they are not constrained, and they are able to be without being held back. If we aren't being held back, if we are completely free, I want us to ponder, would we do anything differently? Have you ever thought that freedom comes at a cost? Any type of freedom comes at the cost to ourself, to others, or to organizations. Even in religion, Christianity comes at the cost of Jesus' death. Our nation, the United States of America, comes at the cost of our soldiers being away from their families for long periods of time, and oftentimes it comes also at their death. Sometimes, personally, our freedom comes by the mistakes and the decisions that we make in error. We always have to leave room for that, though, don't we? Leaving room for error in our decision-making. We can misuse this freedom, we can abuse it, we can take advantage of it. And as someone so, you know, importantly and poignantly pointed out to me a couple weeks ago, Having freedom isn't always such a good thing because we often take advantage of it making huge mistakes, which in a sense gets us into more trouble than we were in before we had the freedom. What freedom are you the most thankful for this year? And then I want you to ponder what has been the cost of that freedom. Certainly we are celebrating the freedom that our nation has to offer, but I think it's okay for us to also think about different types of freedom at this time of year. So think to yourself about that. Which one not only are you the most thankful for, and then what has been the cost of that freedom? Then amidst your celebration later this week, Remember how far you are able to go because of the freedom that has been provided for you. Remember where it comes from. Remember who paid the price for that freedom and then celebrate by making good decisions and staying out of trouble with the freedom that we have. I hope that you enjoy your celebration at the end of this week. And in doing so, you'll be able to think of your own freedom in maybe a different way this year. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to leave comments below. And for more thoughts, stories, or words of encouragement, I invite you to go to my Facebook page. 
where we truly do embrace hope even in trials, where we're changing lives one struggle at a time. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.